Guys, do you want to know how to run React program in VS Code? So this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to create and run React project in VS Code. So let's start the video. So guys, here you have to follow certain steps. So first step, you can install uh, VS Code in your system. After that, you can install Node.js and then you can create and run your program in VS Code. So guys, uh, let me show you how to install VS Code. So you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for VS Code download. So guys, here you can see official website. You need to just click on this link. It will redirect you to this page. Here we have different operating system. I'm selecting for Windows. So I'm just clicking on this button guys. And now you can see the download has been started and it is done guys. I'm going to click on this exe. Uh, and guys here it is asking me license and agreement so i'm going to select i accept and i'm going to click on next button this is the installation location i'm keeping default and i'm clicking on next button guys and guys this is showing me that it will show your vs code in start menu so click on next button and now guys here if you want to add shortcut on your desktop then you can check mark this and uh, after right clicking if you want vs code option to be there you can see select this and click on next button and now guys you need to click on install button so here you can see your vs code installation is started and it is done guys it's uh, showing me uh, run the vs code so i'm just taking finish button and guys my vs code is started so this is the vs code guys now let me show you step number two that is installation of node.js so guys you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for node.js download and here guys you can see the official website node.js.org you need to just click on this link so guys it will redirect you to download page of node.js here you can see we have various tabs available packet manager pre-built installer so we don't have to do anything with packet manager just click on this pre-built installer and now guys here you can see we have a button download node.js and it's showing version of that so what version of node.js you want to install you can select from this drop down we have current version as well as we have LTS so we will be installing LTS that is long time support and now here it's showing operating system and the architecture so I'm installing for Windows 64 bit and so let me click on this download button so guys you can see at the top my download has been started it will take a while guys so guys my download of msi is done now i will click on this msi let me close my browser guys and here is the welcome screen i'm simply going to click on this next button and now guys here it's asking me license and agreement so i'm going to check mark this i accept and i'm going to click on this next button now guys this is the installation location for node.js in this folder your node.js will install so i will click on next button now here it is showing custom setup if you want to deselect anything you can i'm keeping everything default and i'm clicking on next button so guys here we have option for installation of chocolatey so i don't want to install it i'm going to click on this next button now here i'm going to click on install button to start the installation so guys my installation has been started it will take a while and guys my installation is done here it's showing me node.js installation completed and we have finish button so i will click on this finish button now guys let's verify the installation whether it has been installed successfully or not so for that i'm just typing cmd in search box and i'm opening my command prompt and here guys now i'm going to type node space hyphen hyphen version just to check whether the command is working yes the command is working it's showing me version of node that means the installation is successful so guys after step number one and two now let's again go to vs code and start creating our react project so for that uh, guys first of all i will be going to file menu and here i'm going to select option open folder and then i will be browsing any of my folder so here i'm taking this folder and i'm clicking on this open folder button so guys here you can see uh, my folder name is visible now guys next step we will be 
opening the terminal so for that you need to go to this view menu and select the option terminal and you can see now your folder is open over here now i am typing uh, node hyphen v just to show you that my node is working over here so node hyphen v and then npm space hyphen v also i am typing npx space hyphen v so npx is a tool which is used for creating react project now guys we will be creating react project so for that you have to type npx space create hyphen react hyphen app and give this space guys and provide your project name so here my project name i have given so demo react is my project name so guys it is asking me some packages need to be installed so i need to confirm by typing y so here i'm simply typing y and i'm pressing enter guys so now guys it will install this packages so it is going to take a while so we have to wait for it guys now my process is going on once the process is completed guys you can see here it has shown some suggestion so it is showing me that you have to first do cd demo react that is you have to go to the directory where your um, application files will be stored so in my demo react my dot js dot css all files are stored so i have to do cd and after that npm start so guys i'm following that step here i'm typing cd demo react and then guys i am typing npm start okay and i am hitting enter guys and you can see guys as soon as i hit enter it's showing me some messages and it is asking me some permission so i am going to allow it so guys you can see it has taken you to app.js page so this is what localhost colon 3000 and here it's showing me one message that if you want to edit it you can go to src app.js and you can modify the code so now let's go again to a vs code guys and here i'm just expanding my demo react folder and you can see so many files are there logo files which was shown over there logo.png and then under src we have app.js so this is a file where you can modify your code so here i'm going to delete all this code only uh, i'm keeping header and i will be writing code inside this header so i'm going to print a simple uh, message guys so i'm deleting all this code and here i'm taking one h1 tag and in that i have just printed some message so here you can see this is my message which i have just wrote as once the code is done you can go back again to your browser and you can check out whatever code you have written for that you are getting output over here let me add few more lines to my code so here i have added one more line to my code and now again i'm going back to my browser and i can see my output so guys that's all for this video i have shown you installation of vs code installation of node.js and how to create and run react project in vs code so guys i hope my steps were clear and you were able to follow it and by following my video you are also able to run your react project in vs code so guys if really my video has helped you don't forget to hit on like button guys and if you have any query you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries and guys you can share my videos to your friends also also guys i'm having telegram channel where i'm sharing lots of pdf notes related to computer science it interviews freely you can join that all my social media link is in description box you can follow me there also guys i'm having one more coding channel that is in hindi if you are interested in learning coding in hindi you can subscribe to that channel also guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel also don't forget to hit on bell icon to receive notifications from my channel thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye keep learning keep watching guys